Hi guys. I decided to go ahead and get the We Are Memory Keepers Word Punch Board. And I chose this one because I do have the label maker um, by another brand. But the labels were pretty big. However, I found out that this is going to be the same size. Um, I love the little letters it does leave behind. But I'm going to find a way to use these because they're so cute. So what you do is you spell out a word you want, and I'm going to say I want to use the word apple. Here's my L, my P, and I'll tell you why I'm using it in a minute, because that way I can just show you one punch. Instead of having to do two separate words. A, P, P, L, where's my E? Okay, so um, they show you that, let me move this back a minute, you can put these, attach one to the other, just slide them into each other for storage. I'm just keeping mine in a little thing, the punch board and everything fits in there. Um, because if you're like me and you have, you know, you're an older woman or man, and you have any weakness in your hands, it's almost impossible to pull these apart. Um, so I'm going to put my A in, and then my P. And I'm skipping a space for my second P, because I only have one. And then I'm going to put my L. And my E. Now I'm going to tell you where I ran into problems here. I used cardstock the first time, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to try it again with the exact same cardstock. Now you just press down the lid. And if it doesn't, you know, press right, well, this time it came out. Maybe it's because it was new. Okay, now I'm going to take my P and move it over to the slot I left empty. And I'm using the guide on the side to push my paper in. And you can either just push here, or you can bring the top down to push. So, I now have the word apple. But as you can see, these are not small letters that I thought they would be. You're going to have to cut this entire section here out. So, you know, it'll work for scrapbooking. It'll work for journaling. Um, ATCs and such, you're going to have to use very small words for it to work. I like the lettering. I like the look of it. And I love the little letters it leaves behind. Seriously, I am going to find use for these. I think if I run them over a glue stick like you do washi stick, that, you know, washi tape, it'll work. But they're so cute. And they're perfectly cut. I actually like these letters better than I like using this because to me this is the same thing as a label but to each their own some i'm sure will absolutely love this um i like the ease of it you know as long as you don't stick them together it is a little hard but the first time i tried to do this this exact same card stock it just it grabbed a hold of it the o especially let me try an O on this paper again and see. Maybe it was because it was new and had not been punched before. I don't know, but I'm going to try it and see. Um, okay. Your O looks like a C, so as long as you make sure you have this lined up, you know you have the O. So I'm going to put the O back in here. Bring the top back down on it and punch it. And yeah, it, it hangs up no matter how you try. So what I did is I took it out and jiggled it and played with it. And it's still hanging up. So there you go. You have your little O. You see it? Well, put a white behind it. Probably work better than my finger. But because of this middle piece in here, it did hang up. And I'm assuming some of the other letters with the middle piece in it might do the same thing. But, you know, I keep playing. You just have to ease it off of the O on the one I got. They may not all be the same. It may be my O is faulty. I don't know. But, yeah, it'll, it'll do the job. I am making some um, 
ATCs for a teacher who teaches bilingual children, and that was the main reason I wanted this, so it would be a little larger to put the words on. So I have the number, the word one, the word uno, the number one, and one circle. And I'll do that with each one of these. I may not be able to use this punch by the time I get to the word three. I'm going to try going up the sides and see. Um, it just really depends on what you're making at the time. So, yeah, it works for the purpose you want to use it for. Um, but like I said, if you do have any weakness in your hands, joining them together is almost impossible to get them apart to me. I have to play with them, play with them to get them apart. And it hurts my thumbs. So, I would say don't join them together. Just get you a plastic tote with a lid on it just to warm all them together. Because once they're together, they are together. For the money, I think I paid 24 something for it on Amazon. It does what I want it to do, so I have no complaint there. We Are Memory Keepers is an excellent, excellent product, so I have no complaint there. Um, it's just going to limit to what I can use it for as far as the sizing, because I don't do scrapbooking. But if you do scrapbooking, this is great for you. Okay, guys, that's my little tiny review on We Are Memory Keepers word punch board it is definitely worth the price and i would say to invest in it and buy it okay i'll see you soon bye bye